Map Editor is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So I've been having good time going around and playing some expert maps that the community has made. Here we're going to start out with something that everybody should know. And this has a pretty simple start. Went with 5 darts here into Sniper, into Open. Right now I think the biggest thing that stops having fun from playing these maps is that everything is on beginner hero leveling. So if you didn't know, heroes actually level faster on harder map difficulties, so on expert they level 30% faster than on beginners. And what that means is basically every hero in this game is kneecapped in custom maps, except for Geraldo, who does better, because then you hit level 20 later, get the restock later, and he doesn't care about when he gets any other level. So basically right now, Geraldo is the only good hero, but I decided to have some fun, stick with Oban. He works decently well, because you get everything you really need to by level 11. And Bluntonium Lab is a pretty well-designed map, because right now you don't have Reload Round map editor, so you need to be able to see when balloons are leaking, and Lab is pretty good for that. I'm gonna be having a few close mid-game rounds here, because we're gonna try to be going for a Grandmaster Ninja before round 80. So 75, 77 are gonna be a little bit tough. But nothing too hard. Open's pure buff is actually not that bad in early mid game. So we do get the Grandmaster Ninja on round 79, and then it's pretty much easy sailing until the late 90s. I'm gonna get the 20 Shinobis up, and I go for just a little bit of support, and that's the game. We run to our next map here. It's a pretty simple map. It's got two paths on the outside that are pretty short and curve away from the middle, but then that's offset by one huge giant long path in the center. So having Geraldo because I didn't want to figure out any early games. Then you're going to be going for Archmage here because I thought this map would be an easy enough late game. So we have a pretty basic early mid. Arcane Spike is really good. May Moab is actually surprisingly good on custom maps because a lot of the times around 40 is tough. And you can get deadly precision for that and then upgrade to Maim later. So 
Gonna go for the pre AD Archmage, like always. This might be the first time Blue Genie has ever been used in the history of chimps. Just generally a pretty bad option. But right now I need something just to get to Archmage as the final little push. And that was the cheapest thing. The Archmage early 90s is actually pretty hard because you don't have all the support you need and Archmage is pretty bad at group balloons. So on 91 here even I almost get overwhelmed even though it should be a pretty easy round. But after that I get my Arctic Winds up, I even get a Snowstorm, then Relentless Blue, Moab Press, and I have pretty much everything I need to beat the game. And from here on out, I just buy Spike Storms. They're a very good upgrade now. 39.0 buffed them to have about double the damage that they used to. So right now, if you just use the ability once, that's basically every ZOMG layer on screen popped. And Archmage has pretty terrible single target, so I definitely need that. Oh, also the targeting on this map sucks, because Archmage will just never target the middle path, because first goes to the balloons that are closest to leaking, and they'll pretty much always be on a side path. But other than that, it's a pretty easy map, but it's enjoyable, I like it. Interesting design, not too hard, pretty easy early too, it's always good. Here I back out at 97 because I thought Archmage would have enough damage, but it doesn't. Needs the Spike Storm abilities to carry it through any amount of single target. 98 here I just drop all my Geraldo items. I got the glue on the left and bottom side, and I got the double genies. So Archmage isn't even doing a whole lot here. And I might not have needed a few of those items, but 99 Simple is one of the few things our page is actually good at, and I still have the Double Genies. And Spike Storms are showing just how buffed they are for these round 100s. This next map is actually one that I made, with the idea being all the balloons go into the cauldron then come out on another lane. So it plays a little bit like quad, where you have to set up two or even three if you want different defenses to defend the whole track. And I decided that if I'm playing everyone else's maps in this video, then I might as well get somebody else to play my map. So I had Unique Potatoes send over the footage when he was doing my map, so thanks to him for this. He decided to go for a Wall of Fire early into a Dragon's Breath for round 40. It's very smart, very easy way to beat early here. He decided to go with Azili, because I presume he wanted to have some fun by not going Geraldo. Azili's a pretty good pick, it's always painful to black border early with Azili, but she doesn't really ever need anything past level 10, so the beginner leveling doesn't really hinder her too much. And for this, I'm surprised by this, he actually went for Spirit of the Forest before he's going for Prince of Darkness, so he's been playing a tough 75-76. But he gets Spirit of the Forest, and that's easily enough to carry him all the way even to Prince of Darkness. It's a very strong tier 5 right now, and it's even better because all the balloons converge in the middle, get grabbed by the vines, and then die. Got Prince of Darkness up, and then he once again goes for Spike Storms. Very good strat he's put together, because the Prince of Darkness and Spirit of the Forest do all of the cleanup, and then Spike Storms do every bit of single target you never need. He gets Shattering here, I guess he just doesn't like the Fortifieds for 98.
You can see here, Hex just removes all of the ZOMGs pretty much completely. Oh, and he's doing some pause checking, because right now in Map Editor, you don't get retry last round. So that means if a balloon leaks, you might have to waste like hours of time to get back to where you were. And with Prince of Darkness, you can't really see anything. The big giant zombie balloons are covering up your entire screen, so you've got to be extra careful. And he makes it. He's got the spikes from round 100, because yet again, Azili is off the table, cannot buy level 20 by round 100 with beginner leveling. And that will be my map done. Good job. This next map is, I think, the best one I've played so far. Just a very well-designed expert. It's got a bit of a rough early that you have to figure out, but it's still nothing too hard that you'd have to, like, grind out spots for. It's also just nice to play, because there's no, like, super cheesy tracks where it's, like, goes from one corner, then exits two seconds later. Everything feels very fair, but still pretty difficult. Oh yeah, we're back to my footage, by the way. So once we're past, like, round 10 here, we just start spamming snipers, because I have no other plan. Early is pretty much over by this point. And I'm using Geraldo turrets just to get to my airburst sub. And once we get that, early is pretty much over. We get triple guns, I alk it. And that's basically all we need to finish out early. Now I just set up the Robo Monkeys for mid, went with Geralda Robos. Right now it's considered the best strat for custom maps, because there's almost no maps that it doesn't work on, just very consistently reliable black ordering. So I'm deciding to be a little bit uncreative here for the final one, but I went with off meta for the other three, so might as well show what good playing like what good playing looks like at least once. Once again, getting a Spike Storm for the good single target damage. I also get the upgrade Sharpening Stones on 81 so I can just breeze through the early 80s mid-game. But here we have a different plan than just Spike Storms, because we're going to go for a carpet of spikes. It got buffed also in 39.0, and I thought it was a pretty huge and unnecessary buff. It got about 50% more DPS on the ability. It was already a very good tier 5, so I'm not sure why they felt the need to buff it, but right now it kills basically everything when it activates the ability. So I'm going to be showing that off in this run. Again, 81 through 84 is not a huge deal. The Geraldo Robos are very good right now. Oh yeah, I also have the three snipers with full metal jackets, because nothing else could pop lead in the setup reliably, and I need something to fix 59, 63, 75, the leads on those rounds, but otherwise just kill the robos. So now we got carpet up, and we're pretty much chilling until the hard rounds in the 90s, so we'll just skip to there. Pretty standard stuff here, you'll see. It's worth noting that right now there's a bug where continues are an option in map editor chimps, and that actually does still give you the money, so you can basically just cheat challenges. I did not use that for any of these runs, and Unique Potatoes did not use it for mine, I checked his footage. And just to like prove that, I don't think anyone would accuse me of faking, but I'll upload the full raw footage for this map unlisted in either the description or in the comments. If I forget to, just tell me to. 
And right now also, you'll see Carpet of Spikes is the only real VDT damager in the setup, so I'm using it to solo 93, 95, 99, and it does a very good job at that. Of course, 96, 97 are also kind of a joke when you have carpet, because they're either spaced out or just not super unthreatening. So you can just get Carpet of Spike's ability to shred those rounds. Oh, here, you've probably never seen this one before. I do three genies around 98, so I buy the one I had in stock, then I manually buy Geraldo's restock, and then I buy the two more. Did I need it? No, probably overkill. But I thought it would be fun, so it's cool to look at, at least. Definitely could have cut them for like one Geraldo Maelstrom. And 99 is absolutely no problem. Got Carpet of Spikes and three Genies on the field. So that's going to be about it for this video. I don't know if I'll do more. I definitely have enough footage to cover more maps. But I'll link everything in the description, like where I got these maps from, their map codes, etc. And that'll be about it for the video.